Hey guys, it's a proud cat lover and today, tonight, I mean not today, tonight I am doing a weighing video and I just weighed Raja first and went ahead and wrote down everything because he's always the trickiest to weigh. He is getting really big. He was 53 grams in September. I forgot to do a weighing, uh, not video, but just doing a weighing deal in general in October. So he was 53 grams then, he is 61 grams now, so that of course is great. So, he is getting so big. Um, I'll put a picture in, but when I measured him last, he was two feet exactly. So, he's getting pretty big. He is such a cutie. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the crested geckos and the leopard gecko. I just thought that I would show you him before I put him back in his tank. So later on, I'm probably going to handle him a little bit more, but of course, where I'm going to be weighing everybody, I figured that I would, of course, not handle him till later on. He's coming to say hi. <laughs> He's just so pretty. Alrighty, anyway, on to the next reptile. Okay, guys, so in, uh, in September, I almost said August, <laughs> magma was 54 grams, so we'll go ahead and bring him over here. I'm going to turn on the scale. There we go. And we'll see how much he is weighing this month. Normally, as I've said before in older videos, magma is pretty good to maintain his weight. Looks like he's gained 3 grams, which is pretty good. Such a big boy. Ember, who I have been kind of messing with for the last 20 minutes, will not come out of her house, so I've just got it sitting there. So when she finally decides to come out, then, um, come on, there you go. Then I can weigh her. And I don't know if I've showed their tanks. I haven't gotten their new vines up there put in yet. But this is what it looks like so far. And I got these water dishes off of Amazon, which I need to put more in there, like rinse out that one and put more in. But, um, I have only put a little bit of water in there, so it either will evaporate or I'll clean it out before that. So, but, um, they come with bottles on the top, which are these things here, but I got it from this person in China. It took a month for them to arrive. And so then I discovered that I really didn't want to use those water bottles because it put too much water in here and I didn't want a whole bunch of water. So I'm just using the dishes themselves, but all of them have it. So this is what his looks like, magmas, and he has gone in his coconut one time and Ember has not once gone in her coconut the entire time that I've owned it. So it's kind of annoying. But this is what Ember's tank looks like. It has a little bit more stuff because it has this plant and it has this piece of wood. But I have yet to be able to find another nice piece of wood like that um, at one of the pet stores. So that's why Magma doesn't have something like that. But anyway, I'm going to get Phoenix and Blaze and Eclipse weighed. And hopefully by then, Ember will be out of her tank. So, Or not her tank, but out of her little house there that Blossom is watching. So... Anyway, we will move on to Blaze or Phoenix, whichever one I can get first. Okay, guys, so here's Phoenix, which she is looking a lot bigger than when I first got her, and I might even put, like, a clip or a picture of when I first got her compared to now because she is so fattened up now and everything. When I first got her, she was 29 grams, and now she is kind of going in between, and she's 30, and I definitely think she is a lot heavier now. So we'll go ahead and weigh her. She still jumps around a lot, but she eats like a champ, which is awesome because when I first got her, she would not eat out of a dish, and now she does great at eating out of a dish. She is so well behaved now. Stop. Okay, so it looks like she has 35 grams, which I am really pleased, because um, as long as she is going up now instead of just kind of switching in between, so yeah. Anyway, she is a pretty cute little gecko. Of course, I was getting her because I wanted to breed her, but then I decided after seeing her that I probably would just keep her as a pet. And I didn't want to end up with having a whole bunch of babies, so I decided to just keep her as a pet. And if you guys don't know the backstory to her, let's see, it was 35, there we go. Um, a person in my Crested Gecko group had to move into a different apartment complex, and she wasn't able to keep her Crested Geckos. So she had four of them she was selling, and I was the one that was able to snatch up Phoenix, like, right after I'd said that I was going to buy her. Someone, like, two other people actually wanted to. And I'm really happy that I got her because it took a lot of patience to finally train her 
to eat out of a bowl. Like she was only eating from my finger and she only wanted to eat insects. And so I was like, well, <laughs> not really sure how you were handled and fed as a, you know, at your old owners because of how she behaved. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and put her up and then we will get Blaze out. Okay, guys, so Blaze was 47 grams in September, and here she is. Of course, almost all my crested geckos are fired down because it is nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on real quick. Okay. And we'll see. I don't think she's going to be producing any more eggs because where it's cooling down. Hopefully she will be done. Looks like she is 47 grams, which is great. And hopefully this time, there will be no poops. <laughs> okay, 46. Come here, sweetie. So I will go ahead and write that down. So that's good that she is maintaining her weight. So I'm going to go ahead and put her up. And Ember is still being a rebel and is still in her hide. So hopefully I can figure out how we're going to get her out. Okay, guys. So after a thousand years, I finally got her out by kind of pushing her with my snake hook like the end of it obviously not the actual tip of the hook stop the rounded end and kind of coerced her out of the hide so it looks like she is 57 and she was 52 last or not last month but in September so that's good that she hasn't uh, lost any and my cat is trying to destroy my notebook so we're going to go ahead and put her up and then we'll get on to Eclipse Okay guys, so last but not least is Eclipse, and as always she is a big girl. So she was 76 grams in September. Yeah, in September. I don't remember if I accidentally said August earlier with one of them. I don't know, but I meant to say September if I did. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on real quick. Okay, so she just flew off my hand because she was not happy about being held. Hey, stop. She really doesn't ever get held. I do like interact with her and stuff but not holding just because she's always been a kind of little crazy acting so she is um 81 grams she is the biggest i think i've ever had her weighed so she definitely is all set for winter because normally in winter she will stop eating completely which is normal of course for crested geckos and for leopard geckos both of them will either stop eating completely or they will cut back and only eat a little tiny bit so that's why a lot of people during the winter either do not feed them or well, of course, you know, they'll every so often offer food, but not at the rate that they normally do. And um, they normally will kind of, I know that breeders especially do this. Normally, you don't have to do it if it's just a pet, which obviously mine are, except for Blaze, of course, who will be on cool down next year. So, which meaning that she won't be being bred or anything. So, but because um, normally they say when you breed to give them a year to kind of... um restore their stock of food and everything and just kind of have a break and be able to replenish their calcium and everything which obviously my girls um ember and blaze get a little drop of this every month which it's to help for their calcium it's liquid calcium i just have a little dropper and i give them one drop per week and then with my others i don't remember if i said month i didn't mean to say month and once a month I give it to um, Phoenix and to Magma just because it can't hurt to just give them a little bit. So that way, if their food isn't giving them enough calcium, then that will be just a little extra boost without being like too much. Because if you give too much calcium, it actually could cause the heart to stop. So you don't want to do that. So you want to be careful. But yeah, so anyway guys, thank you for watching my weighing video. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Thank you.